Hey everybody, uh, this is Merlin here. I got Gimli and uh, Dickie here. Hey uh, we just got done seeing Wonder Woman, so now we're going to tell you our thoughts about it. Uh, who wants to go first, actually? I already heard some comments. John, you want to go first? I heard you talking about it. What would you like? What you didn't like? Uh, did you like it overall first, I guess, is the real yeah, question. Yeah, I, th I thought it was all right. I'd give it like a, a C plus or a B minus. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I, I didn't think it was like awful like uh, BVS or... Uh, Man of Steel, <laughs> or Suicide Squad, <laughs> mm -hmm. or, God forbid, Green Lantern. Oh, we don't even talk about. Is that still in the canon? No, technically no, that's a different. Now? That's a different oh, universe. God. That's a different <laughs> universe. So technically, we won't see that Green Lantern again. Oh uh, no! I'm sure Ryan Reynolds happy about that. I mean, if they recast him like you know, with a better script, I'm sure he'd come back to do oh, it. Probably. But he's got Deadpool now. Yeah, kind of, kind of awkward between the two. Yeah, I think days. there might be some contract come, you know, yeah. comparisons there. Yeah, but uh, what what didn't you what did you like about it? It's a little low, I think. I think um, I think there was a lot of really fundamental stuff that they didn't get quite right. Okay. Um, the action sequences I felt were really choppy. Mm -hmm. um, like the the really close up sword and shield. Mm -hmm. I thought those were really choppy. They really like their slow motion. Yeah, a lot, they a lot, did. A lot of they did. a lot of twirling, and I mean, it looks good, but they mm. did that a lot. I, yeah. I felt like I was watching Three Hundred sometimes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, I thought that some of the dialogue in like the beginning, yeah, on Themyscira was really awkwardly done. Well, it's like they got decent actors for it, but everyone was trying an accent, and I don't think a lot of people were very good at what kind of accent yeah. they were trying to do, and it muffled a lot of the speech. So yeah. I, I did notice that too. Some I missed a couple lines early on. Well, and it's not even just the accent; it's the delivery of the lines. Uh -huh. um, like during the parting, or maybe it was the uh, the first time that the queen was telling the trainer to make Diana work harder. Mm -hmm. She kept like looking away from the person <laughs> she was talking to and just like really distracting. <laughs> it's like she's she's talking to someone who's barely on frame in frame. Yeah. And then she just looks out. Hmm. And then looks she doesn't break her speech at all. Huh. I didn't She know doesn't break that. her line yeah. of talk at huh. all. Alright, I didn't notice that. Okay. Um I thought the sound design was a little off too, mm -hmm. especially in the action sequences. It was it was like deafening. Yeah, they especially when they put our theme song the da na na. Yeah, they did yeah, that. It's yeah. like okay, that's oh, it's a little. I, yeah. I get you like it, but it's, it's a little loud. It's like um, it's like the Inception, mm -hmm. but like m cranked up all the way <laughs> yeah. and played continuously. Yeah, yeah, they, it's true. Um, they definitely like their soundtrack yeah. a lot. <laughs> uh, I thought. Otherwise, though, the character interactions, once they got off of the Mascara mm -hmm. and got the plot moving, I thought those were really nice. Mm -hmm. um, there were a lot of times that, like, the movie made me genuinely smile mm -hmm. because the characters were written pretty well, mm -hmm. actually. Um, Anything else? Uh, nah, I... I all Nothing right. that comes to mind, but at least. But definitely better than the other DC stuff. Oh, so 100%. Oh, yeah. okay. 100%. Okay. Well, that's good. All right, Camilla, what, what did you think, man? Uh, I, I hope you liked a little more than that. I, I uh, couldn't tell. You seemed like you are pretty engaged. I heard you laugh a couple times. I'd say probably B, B minus, somewhere right in there. Mm -hmm. um, I did like the main actors. Mm -hmm. The main actors were excellent. Mm -hmm. I think they were very well developed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Good uh, pacing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It, it was. A, I think it was a long movie, but it didn't feel too long. No. No. No, no it didn't. Um, going back to the sound, main soundtrack. Uh -huh. Does it kind of give you that vibe of um, James Bond? I can a little see bit. It. Yeah. A little bit. The like. Um, it sort of reminded me of uh, Golden Gun. Man, the, the Golden Gun. The main theme song, okay. kind of. Yeah, All right, yeah. It, it was very familiar. It sounded like, but they did like a remix. You know, yeah. sort of like a I, feedback I can, or something. I, I don't know who did the soundtrack. Actually, I'm sure someone could look it up. But uh, it reminded me a little bit of like the early Hans Zimmer stuff, like when he did Gladiator. I got I got some of that vibe too. Maybe yeah. they were trying to imitate some of that. Mm. Um. So, some of the editing mm -hmm. was. Um, one that really annoyed me mm -hmm. was, do you remember when they were at the fountain in the spoilers, town square? by the way. Yeah, oh, yeah. The, tons, tons of spoilers. It should be implied. Oh, you mean you the, the fountain uh, when he was in bathing? The, 
No. Right before no. they were dancing. No. Like no. Uh, in the town center. With the beer. Oh, when they were drinking the beer. So yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one guy brings out three beers. Yeah. He keeps one, gives <laughs> one to either one, and they're going on about dancing and ha he's going to teach her how to dance. Mm -hmm. But right before that, she sets down her beer on the right side. And then exactly the next shot of her, she's setting down on the left side. <laughs> Oops. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> she did not pick that up. I heard the clink of the beer glass on the fountain. That, which was some good sound design. <laughs> yes, it, I could hear it. <laughs> Probably because it was too loud, but still, it's like, oh. Uh, you caught an error. Okay. Yeah. Anything else um, <laughs> good or bad come to mind? I didn't really, I thought the editing or animation of the whip Ooh, was. That's another, yeah. It looked, uh, it looked too, it looked it, too separate from everything else. Yeah. yeah. Like it was like composited somewhere else and just kind of put over. It, yeah. Like there's the layer like, of the background, the CGI version of her that's moving around and then the whip, yeah. which looks like it's almost, it's glowing. So it's yeah. almost too big for her hands. It looks cool. But you're right. It it is it just looks it's a, off. It's a little. It's by... always. You know the weird thing about it is in this one it's always glowing. It's not always glowing yeah. in the comics until you activate it. Yeah. I didn't think the CGI was that good. I thought it was horrible. I mean, the CGI was. She jumped off of the cliff, and you. It looked like an old like Windows ninety five <laughs> PC game. <laughs> it wouldn't go quite quite that bad. I mean, the, th the thing about it is like the CGI was. I've definitely seen much worse CGI. Oh yeah. But it's like when they tried to intercut to some really ridiculous action scene, you can clearly see that yeah. CGI. Yeah. Actually, uh, that was one of the few little things about. It. I I know they were really impressed by the slow motion because they did do some choreography so oh, yeah. I thought a lot of that looked good even if it was a little overused the CGI thing that bothered me was every time someone jumped it was CGI every yeah. and and, yeah. and they always like speed it up a little bit or try to slow it and I'm like, and I'm like they have they do no, not get the just just do it like can full you, motion where no time dilation cuz every time it just looks it always looks off whenever yeah. they're trying to do a landing they can't quite get it right yeah um Let's see. Good things. I I liked the humor. Okay. Mm. The humor was good. Yeah, a lot, lot of uh, I, you know, I knew they were gonna. I I guess uh, it makes sense because it's an origin story, like the awkwardness of Wonder Woman kind of getting yes. acclimated to man's world. They really did play that up, and I think they did it pretty well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, a lot a lot of um, you know, they managed to make a lot of sex jokes, but still kept it kind of tasteful, which yeah. I which I was yeah. kind of impressed by. Yeah. Like I was, it wasn't too crude somehow. You know. I thought that was cool. It was it was yeah, very, yeah. It was mostly family friendly. I think. Yeah, <laughs> mostly. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Anything else? Um. No, it's a good movie though. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm curious. Uh, spoilers. What do you guys think about the villain? I saw it. Uh huh. Like coming from the beginning of the movie uh -huh. when they first introduced the red herring, uh -huh. and you were like, "Oh, that's just not going to be Hades." Yeah, yeah, or Ares, Ares, Ares. Ares. Yes. Because like, yeah. well, the, the one thing about it for me is uh, going going into it, you know, that they have them developing these weird gases, and the guy that you think is supposed to be Ares. I, I mean, the thing that kind of gave it away is that he's using these things to power up. And I'm yeah. thinking, why would Ares need to use something to power up? And I'm like, okay, maybe he's weak if he gets a sacrifice. And I thought, maybe. But also, I thought they introduced him a bit too early for him to be a threat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But a funny thing about the way they handle the villain, um, as opposed to most Marvel villains, which are usually one-dimensional, this guy, I think, potentially had a little more depth, but... You didn't really actually get to see him in his villainous stage enough to really explore him. Yeah. Um, he had charisma, and they got a good actor oh, yeah. for him. Yeah, yeah. But I, I thought it was funny. He went from being, like, one of the most OP bad guys ever. Like, literally, like, how is how is she going to beat him? And then she just kind of does. I guess when she... There's a couple times when she just remembers she has superpowers. Like, even in the beginning yeah. when she's <laughs> trying to escape the mascara and she jumps, and she's surprised she can punch into the wall easily. I'm like... You're just figuring this out now. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I, I know it's. Yeah, I thought that was a little bit iffy. Um, yeah, I agree with you guys. I think that the, the acting was pretty good. I thought they did write the characters well. They had good chemistry. Uh, the action scenes, uh, some were better than others. It was a little uneven, but uh, I, I. One thing I will say is, yeah, they kind of tricked me. I thought this movie was gonna have a lot more color than the other DC movies, and it does on Themyscira. 
But then once we get off, we go to London, and it's always smoke yeah. covered, or it's always <laughs> most of the fighting's at night. And I'm well, like, it doesn't look as bad this time. No, but no, it, not but at it's all. still like, why are they so against color? Well, this one actually had a reason because yeah. it's in World War One. Yeah, it's the Industrial Revolution. Yeah, and all I that. I understand that, and yes, it's a clever way around it. But I feel like they're just afraid to shoot in daylight or with bright lights. I mean, mm -hmm. I I it's just. Like yeah, I said, it, it's forgivable this time. I actually thought the way they uh, interwove World War One through the plot and used it to kind of grow her character was good. Because mm. Gimli and yeah. I are, are kind of history fans, and there's always this kind of running joke: there isn't enough out there about World War One. Yeah, and th this is funny. This is probably one of the better World War One movies <laughs> yeah. for, for the little that it showed. I mean, it it wasn't bad. No, there's no, aren't not that at all. there's aren't that many. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I think I I liked it. I think I give it a B plus. I thought it was pretty solid. Uh, much better. Much better than the other ones. I mean, yeah. Um, maybe with more time, I could look back on it and more critical. But right now, right now, I'm just so happy that there's a DC movie that didn't suck. Yeah, didn't yeah. completely <laughs> suck. Do you think Bass is gonna walk out of this one tonight? I hope not. He wa didn't he walk out of Batman vs Superman? Yeah, uh, and I think Suicide Squad as well. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> walk out on well, that to one. be fair, you can't no, accurately. No, he didn't. He just slept through like oh. an entire because oh, he, he saw that with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I don't know. I just well, I did say I did say to that that if and I think I've told you guys this that if DC if Warner Brothers messed up this badly with Wonder Woman, I wouldn't see Justice League. I'd yeah. be done. Because I, I keep getting excited and not liking them. I, I thought Man of Steel was okay, but that was, you know, four four years ago. You know, like, we got we got to move on. We got to we got to get better. And the last couple of movies were just so bad. This one actually feels competent and decent. It, the yeah. story makes sense. It's it's true to the character. They did a good job with their origin. You know, and they made her yeah. likable. They, they cast a good person. I'm, as far as a Wonder Woman movie goes, I'm happy. I think the character's been well served. Yeah, but she definitely. was she was good in um, in Batman vs Superman anyway, so there was already some promise. But what do you, are you guys looking forward to the Justice League movie a little more now or I mean, a little bit more? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, to I be honest, I'm not really that huge of a Justice League fan, mm -hmm. but it does look good from what the trailers show. All right, and the characters and stuff. All right, I f I feel like. The Justice League's downfall is definitely going to be characters. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like... You've only got a couple established ones. Yeah. And since they're pulling from a TV show with The Flash, with Barry Allen, they yeah. don't need to... Establish him. They don't need to establish his character at all. In the movie, yeah. So I feel like if you're going into it without having watched The Flash... Like me. Who, who's... Like me, as well. Like, I mean, it's, I, I mean... You guys probably get the basics. I mean, I have the advantage. I don't really watch the show either, but I've I've read enough comics. I get the Flash. Yeah, he's yeah. there's really not too much to get. I mean, um, he's a really fast guy, but I know what you mean. <laughs> the uh, the character you might be a little off about. Um, and especially since they're introducing two completely yeah. new characters, Cyborg and Aquaman, to an already not very well developed universe. universe. Yeah, it's going to be really awkward. I feel like. Yeah, and they're also fighting uh, the Parademons and and Steppenwolf. I think is kind of an obscure bad guy. Like Gimli, do you, have you ever heard of Steppenwolf before? Nope. Exactly. Like honestly, the only reason I know about him is because uh, he was in one episode of Justice League for about five minutes, <laughs> and then he died. I'm like, oh, the guy, that one guy that worked for Dark Side. Okay, he's enough to carry a movie, right? <laughs> Out of the list of people they have, no. no. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'd say what well, you think in B, B minus. You said C plus, minus, uh, B, B plus. It's like okay, so average out. So B. Probably yeah, about probably about a B. I'd B. say it's a solid good movie between us all. Uh, recommend it if you're a Wonder Woman fan if you haven't seen it yet, and uh, yeah, let us know what you thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Stay magical, everybody. See you guys. See ya.